the ruination, and it does not help the, their continued sex. Forget, isn't, the, forget isn't, the name. Isn't the one right. that you are going to sleep with. Right. It's the person. No, I don't know. Yeah. In other words... But she was beautiful. Make... She was beautiful. Shh. Shh. Oh. Yeah, hey, but I'm hey, not getting my answer. Hey. Did you nail her or not? I, I have to be on a set in May. Okay, all right. Take it easy. <laughs> I'll take it easy. So, if it was in those days... Uh, let's go back. Let's not... Let's take Marilyn. Please. She rest in peace. Yes. Oh, no. And... Uh, if her name wasn't Marilyn Monroe, okay. I learned this in my 20s and 30s. Right. Somebody walked over to me and said, Milton, you know, we used to sit in the theater and watch a motion picture and see one of the biggest stars, right? So you're not answering the question. I'm going you're to avoiding to it. it. You're avoiding it. No, I'm not. You were 42. She was 19. True or false? Ooh. Is that true? And then you had the beautiful young... What's the question? Now okay. You got the the question is... If she was when she throw, was nude, throw. when she was nude, how could you perform? In other words, she's I'll so beautiful. Why. Right. I'm going to get to it. All right, go ahead. All I had to do, all anybody has to do, is to check if it's if it's a star, uh, right? As we said, F, F right. Get that name out of your mind. Make her just a plain person, and instead of saying Marilyn Monroe, say to yourself like a cow. No, don't tell me what oh, to okay. say. Shh. Instead of saying Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Think in your mind mentally, because everything is mental. Yes, true. The whole body works that right. way. Just call her another name, Esther, Sarah Monroe. And the minute that you say the first name is different than Monroe, you hold out. You, you, your, as you want to say, your penis or whatever does, yes. just goes into a, a funk. Right, right, into a, another position. <laughs> and you're not, because when you're hard, you're soft. When you're right. soft, you're hard. So, in other words, what you're saying, if I, if I may paraphrase here, <laughs> you're saying. That you got to stop thinking that you're with Marilyn Monroe. You've got to you think gotta, about somebody else. Well, what good is being with Marilyn Monroe? And then when you, you call her Sarah, doesn't she get no, pissed? Does she I get mean. pissed off when you called her Sarah? <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> you, you told her Sarah, right? <laughs> right? That's right. Well, she's through. <laughs> she's through. Yeah, Fire. that's right. <laughs> no, I did not tell her. I understand. I you think she's a plain person. I was told this uh, when I was in my 20s. Don't get that excited, Milton, when you see a motion picture name on the screen. I it see. looks gorgeous. If it's Hedy Lamar and you look at... Change the name yeah, Hedy I to see, Dorothy Lamar. If I saw and a beautiful actual, woman... Wait a minute. If I saw a beautiful woman... Body, yes. And your mind it takes over and... But what good is that? You want to be with Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. You want to <laughs> enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Who wants to think right, about... You want to be with Marilyn. You want to be with Marilyn, not Sarah. We're not talking... Oh, let's not talk about Marilyn. Really? You're really no, that no, upset about not, it? No, let's remember her. Oh, I'd love to remember the way you do. No, no, let's remember her the way she was a wonderful chick. She was a wonderful woman. That means she used her mouth. Oh, oh yes. She's a good girl. I know what that means. I'm picking up all your hidden meanings. All, I'm a guy, too. All wrong. Really? 100% wrong. 100% wrong. wrong. Didn't use her mouth. got to be the way you dress and the way you look. <laughs> you got to be wrong about wrong. something. <laughs> Uncle Milty, you are an innovator. You're the man who started television. You did it all. And now you're telling us that this is the next phase, this low-impact aerobics for senior citizens. And what you're saying to my audience is that young people should buy this for these old okay. codgers who are sitting around like vegetables. Wrong, wrong. Get them up Don't off the chairs. Don't put it down. No, shut up. Right, but now, what shut did I up. do wrong? I'm plugging your you're video. You're not plugging oh, it. Oh, I am too. It down. No. Now, don't tell me what you're I'm, doing. I'm, put, I'm making it a positive. Everybody clear the room and come over here. <laughs> come on. And let me hit you. <laughs> no, don't do All that. All right, look. All right, I don't want to hurt you. All right. <laughs> wrong. This is not you said for the old people. Wrong. It it's is not for the old. Oh. This is for everyone. Oh. It's from it, you can do it at forty-five up to a hundred, but it'll keep you younger and it'll make you fresh and keep your arteries going and, and you'll live much longer by exercising. I see. And it's a very hip 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 tape. You know, you make a good point. I'll tell you why you made a good point. No, well, you are wrong. When you, no, when you let me make up and say old people no, no. don't do that. No, listen, let me no, tell you. You're something. wrong. No, Robin, for example, who works with me over there, Robin. Yeah. She wants to do aerobic activity. So what does she do? She goes out and she starts rollerblading and taking tennis lessons. She's overdoing it. So she lost her voice and got sick. Now, let me explain something to you. What you're saying is if you took it a little slower, day in and day out. Work up to it. Work up to it. You'd probably be in better shape. Am I correct? There are rules and regulations in this tape Thank that you. advise the people that the minute that they get a little overly tired, they should stop and rest. Oh, right? that's that's crazy. And, and take the break. That's crazy. And you should be <laughs> not exercise too. Right. And you can't that's continuously crazy. do it. I'm talking to you, darling. Right. Mm -hmm. She's a mess over because there. you you did. 
You know, you, you hey, look at Uncle Milty. He's got a good physique. He looks wonderful. Yeah, looks good. Kept at one weight for the last 15 years, 165. Don't applaud. No, come on. Don't Standing applaud. ovation. Wait. <laughs> you never <laughs> sit down. We saw your pants <laughs> and the shorts. Uh, thank you very much. Uncle Milty. No, I don't. I'll tell you one thing. Yeah. It's not for the world to know, but... I don't know what beer tastes like. I never drank. I'm a teetotaler. Really? I never drank. Don't know what beer tastes like. Really? Jackie, haven't better. eaten. <laughs> no, no. I have never smoked a cigarette. Just cigars. Since I was 12 years old. Really? You walked around with a cigar when you were 12? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Now that's yes, funny. Wow. But you've tasted about 450 broads. That's what keeps you young, my friend. You've, had, you've, you've slept with over 450 broads. That's what keeps you young. You got to admit That's it. That's what kept me up. You're, n you're not kidding. <laughs> yeah, this guy has had a great life. A, the, he oh, won't tell you the no, real secret. Yeah, the real secret is go out and sleep with Marilyn <laughs> yeah. Monroe a couple of times. You'll live to be 195. <laughs> You'll want to live. This guy's been with every. This guy's lived a life. Nobody. <laughs> come on. Let me let me talk to yeah, you seriously. On uh, his guy, memories alone, you don't want to die. Do you know what it's like to have a reputation? Not only be a famous comedian, big star, film star, everything revered. But every woman on the planet knows you've got a big penis. Woo! Do you know what that's like? Do you know what kind of life that is? You got money. Can I say something? Go ahead. Say it. Go ahead. It's Tell not, the truth. It's not the size of your penis. Oh, yes, it it's is. It's not the way. No, it women is. must have gone into shock. You, He's never I'm not had sure what you do with the it. drawback that you have. You have never had a small penis really? like mine. No, no. She did. Let me tell you something. It's Uncle easy Milky, to say that. It's easy to say it when you're big. <laughs> you know what women do when they see me naked? They you go. Know, you know. Really oh! Can you imagine what that's like? Yeah, you know how like, humiliating? It looks like your belly button. Yeah, <laughs> looks like an acorn. <laughs> I'm hung like an elevator button. I think, I think we, we told this story, didn't I, over the last time I was on here, what happened with Forrest Tucker and me? Yes, when you wealth whipped it out. I know that no, whole no, story. I, you know, we had this contest, and, and uh, they were asking to have a, a contest between Forrest Tucker and myself with our endowments, which was it's not in good taste, but <laughs> at the men's club, at the golf club that happened in the men's room or in the golf room. And uh, and uh, I said no, and Forrest said, come on, let's do it. And they were starting to bet who is the best in down, who's the largest, all that junk. Wow. And I finally said, I've had enough of this, I'm no, I don't want to do it. And a guy yelled from the back uh, of the room of the uh, golf club, he said, uh, Milton, just just take out enough to win. Wow. <laughs> I love that. No, well, I didn't say it. Oh, I love it. Did you do it? Last Let me night. see it. Let me see it. I can't take it. Let me see it. If anybody show me. sees this, yeah. it's going to be her. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, let me tell you. Then she knows what to do with it. No, Believe me. I don't know. Just see the size of her vibrator. Oh, please. Let me say something. Oh, Uncle Milty. Uncle Milty. <laughs> that was true. in bad Wait taste. Wait a minute, by the way. Let me give a couple no, of plugs here, no, would you? Oh, well, that's what I wanted to yeah. tell you where I'm going to be. I'm gonna, let me introduce oh. it. You know how we play the game. Let yeah, me introduce it, and then you make a comment. First of all, November 15th through the 18th, here's a guy, George Burns can't even get out of bed. He had Uncle to Milty, his birthday celebration. Uncle Milty is working. Yes. November 15th through the 18th, he's not canceling anything. Yeah, but Burns has 20 years on him or something. Well, not 20. At the Riverside, 13, 14, at the, 12. At the Riverside Casino in Laughlin, Nevada. Oh. For four shows. Four shows. Jeez. Uncle Milty will be there. You should see Uncle Milty because he I'm might doing, retire any day now. I'm doing a, no, I'm not going to retire. Right. Uh, uh, it's a one-man show, and you'll be the one man to see. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to you say that. You're talking about Burns. That uh, I'm here, and he's there, and I... Uh, he you don't have to compliment him. No, you don't no, have I'm to. not complimenting him. You're I'm, better than him. No, no, I'm not talking better than him. We're not talking talent. All We're right. talking about human beings. We're talking about people that are living that we want to live. He's going to be 100 years old. Let me talk about you and your plugs. I Why are you doing this? Well, Why has you he right. seen George right. Burns? He hasn't seen George Burns. <laughs> this weekend, Uncle Milty will be rock climbing in Utah. Oh, stop it. <laughs> now, that's pretty good. <laughs> that was made you laugh. Pretty fun. All right, pretty okay, fun. all right. I mean, you just an amateur, that's Thank fun. you. And you just <laughs> taped an episode of The Nanny. No, I'm taping an episode of The Nanny next week. I see. With the... Uh, Fran Gresher. Fran Gresher, who's a terrific comedian. Some bot on her, huh? And, no, she's, oh, she's got a good body. A and nice not, press. Not she's very, very talented. Very, very attractive. Bright. And I am uh, going to do a guest appearance on there. And I understand I'm playing her her, uh, her uncle. 
Ah. And I am, uh, of all people, an attorney, a lawyer. So maybe it's sort of keeping up to date with the situation. What's with O.J.? Well, I don't know O.J. or whatever. Well, that's what it's like. And uh, I, I don't know. It's going to be for one appearance. And it may be, they're talking, maybe a recurring role. Wow. If I would like to do it. You don't need that. You don't need the weekly grind. Oh, yeah, uh, not weekly. weekly. Just every once in a while. Once in a while? Once in a while? I, okay, once in a while well, is fine. Maybe, whatever. The, the, I'll talk to you about it. We'll see well, what you know, happens. Are you the booker? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Uncle Milty, of course, will not comment on O.J., but he thinks O.J.'s guilty. No, I don't. Yes, you do. M Milton I will Burles. not say he's guilty or he's not guilty. Off the air, you'll tell so us. Don't it. quote me. Really? Not off the air. Right. We're on the air now. Really? I will not. You're talk afraid of about black people. Oh. You have black people who work in your house, and you're afraid they'll say not. No, I do have black people, and I'm not. There's nothing to be afraid of black people. Really? Do I'm plenty afraid. Of <laughs> All right. All right. I don't know. You want me to ask you that question? Is he guilty or not guilty? Yes. I'm not going to ask you. You just ask me if I wanted to be asked. But I don't want you to be asked. Oh, you don't? <laughs> okay. No, I, I, it's very... Ask me that question. I will not. Please. Oh, no, because I'm you have you. a right to say what you want. You want do you, you believe that he was guilty? I believe he was guilty. You do? Yes, and I'm All not right. afraid to say it. Then you should have been on the jury. Uh, yes, I should have been. There was the... Well, speaking of juries, i got to say something. It sounds like you're doing a dovetail into a one-liner. Right. Speaking of... Yes. Uh, that's the cliche line that is in all my joke books about uh, a defendant or a plaintiff is uh, are facing 12 people who haven't got the brains enough to get out of jury duty. <laughs> that's right. That's right. exactly That's exactly the O.J. case. You saw all these women hanging around. The, when the verdict was read, all these women are screaming, Yeah, O.J., O.J. Meanwhile, why aren't they at work? Where is everybody? How come everyone has free time? Uncle Milty's working. Yeah, but Uncle Milty's working, but it's got nothing to do with the case, and I would not like to dignify anything more. All right, I will not case. talk about the O.J. case. I'll wait till you it's leave. it's not up to me, it's up, it's up to the courts, and whatever decision they it's make. It's not up to us either, we still American talk about way it. Right. Of supposedly, the way they do it, that's their decision, and the jury made the decision. Uncle Milty's got black people. Uh, no, 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 he's afraid, he's afraid. There's nothing right. wrong with that. Now, listen, Milton Burles, low-impact, high comedy. Where I'm can a, you find me? I'll tell you who I'm getting this for. Who? My mother's got a tuchus on her. Oh, jeez. Oh. My this mother... Help you lose weight? Let me tell you something. She's a prime candidate. My mother's almost 70 years old. She got a tuchus on her the size <laughs> of a hippopotamus. She wears giant underpants. Oh, I'm sure she's glad you're telling and Uncle, she Uncle Milty I'm this. Oh, Uncle Milty's seen my mother. she got a big oh. tuchus, right? Am I right? She's a very lovely yeah, woman. But admit she has a big tuchus. I wasn't looking at her. Oh, <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> you never knew my mother, did you? Oh, no. <laughs> you're not his father, are you? <laughs> you're not my father, are you? <laughs> I don't know how you're still on. That's unbelievable. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Your mother, you said she's got a very big... She got a big tuchus, and i got to tell you something. I've said to her... Work out? I, I'm going to give it to her. I'll tell you why. I say to her, Ma, why don't you get up off your ass and take a walk? My father has to look at your big ass. Oh. My father hasn't gotten laid in years. I said, why? Because he's not attracted. You've got you to gotta lose the ass on you. So she, you know, she goes, she gets insulted right away. Like, oh, you shouldn't talk to me like this. So, <laughs> Just um, imagine you had children and this was it. <laughs> <laughs> said, Uncle Melty, you don't prefer a big dumper. You like a nice tight <laughs> buns, right? To tell the truth. Your wife is gorgeous. She's got tight buns, right? My wife is absolutely the most gorgeous woman in the world. Exactly. So there's a, there's a guy who knows. So I said to my mother. Did Uncle Milty have children? Uncle Milty has a children, yes. He does? Yes. I have what? You have, don't you have a child? Oh, I have a lot of them. Oh, yeah. really? She's got a lot my of wife, them. Uh, uh, Lorna, uh, who's only, well, she's really under 50. Right. She's about 49, 48. Right. She has Jackie's five age. grandchildren. Oh, she has five grandchildren. Well, one of, my, one of her daughters, Susan, yeah. which is my stepdaughter now, is... Uh, is just recently had a, a baby with uh, Richard Mall. You know Richard. Yeah, yeah the actor. From, yeah, well, yeah. He's the tallest, yeah. six foot eight, okay. very handsome. And mm. there's another one in the oven. So Lorna, my lovely wife, is going to have six grandchildren. Yeah, but those aren't like your, those aren't your biological children. No, real children. Oh, these are your real children. Not they are. No, I'm talking about you though. You, oh, these well, are not your I, biological. I, I have grandchildren. Yeah, I have one, two, three, four. Oh, oh you do? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know. What's do you want to make a little matchmaker with your mother? No, 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 no. What I'm saying, I'm talking about your videotape. I'm saying my mother. I heard about that. Right. And the reason she got the butt. big, the reason she got the big tuchus <laughs> is because buttocks, as you say, but but is because she doesn't do anything. I say go out and walk. My, my father rides a bike once in a while. 
Right. He does. You should see that. that, yeah. <laughs> and well, my my wife, Lana, who's well, you know, just about 49, but she walks three miles a day back. That's great. But I said to my mother, you don't walk anywhere. You got a big fat ass. You got it. I said, I don't know if you look behind you, but you got a big you fat speak ass. to your mother that way. I got to be honest with the woman. <laughs> I got to be honest. I want my father to stay married to her, don't I? He doesn't seem to be wandering or straight. That's an ass. That's an ass. It's filled with yogurt. And I mean, it's like a veal. It's like a veal. If they, oh, that's terrible. If a cannibal got a hold of it, they say, ooh, there's not a vein or a bone or anything in this ooh, ass. Ooh, she must be juicy. So, yeah, juicy. So I said, oh, you got to reduce the size of your ass. She goes, what am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? I said, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it today. I'm going to say, Uncle Milty put out not only a tape you can laugh. You could sit there and laugh. It's very educational. Though. Right. It's educational at the same time. And maybe she'll move that tuchus around a little bit. Do you have a tuchus exercise on this tape? <laughs> you do. All right. Uncle Roll Milty. On the backside. I want to. Th that's a good one. Uncle Milty, you know how I love you. Yes. I want to thank you for coming in here. Well, first, let me, before, before I split. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, you know, I spoke to you a few months ago. Right. And you called me, or we spoke to each other. Yes, we and did. And you uh, wished me a lot of success about... Um, about the Emmy Award. Yes, I did. For my performance in uh, Beverly Hills 9. And uh, it's over. And uh, I did not get the award. I was shocked, by the way. Well, well I was won? very disappointed. Well, I was disappointed too. But there has to be a winner. There has to be a loser. Who won and, that? The Martian? My favorite Martian? No, no. Uh, the, uh, the gentleman from uh, Picket Fence. That guy? Oh, uh, the black, not the black actor. Oh, awful actor. No, no. <laughs> the black guy on Picket Fence. Yeah. Terrible actor. What is it? Um, your mom's on the phone. Oh, uh -oh. Uncle Milty. Yeah, just tell my mother to get get the fat ass. Oh. Do do? Tell my, Ray, Ray. Tell my get mother. Get the Ray. lard out. Yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> Ma. Uncle Milty, he's got the answer for your big I'm ass. Not no, to I have. I want to say Happy New Year to Uncle Hello, Milty. Ray. Oh, ah, yes. Go ahead. How do you Ray. do? Yes. It's good to me? talk to you again. And I just Let want me put on the headset. Yeah, put on the headset. You'll hear her. Great. Should we get, tell her to get the tape. Tell her to get the tape. Go ahead. Go I, ahead. I know what to do. Right, go ahead. You handle <laughs> it. It's not my first day. You know? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, my talk. Uncle Milty can hear you now. I can. Will you shut up? Well, that's not, right. not you, Ray. Did you tell him to shut up? Well, I, I tell him to keep quiet while somebody that's else right. is talking. That's right. I wanted to wish you a happy new year. Well, thank you very much. The same to you, darling. And I just want you to know that when Howard is with me, he never <laughs> talks this way. Oh, of course. Tell the I truth. I just want you to know that this is all... Do you have a big tuchus? Do you have a big tuchus? Hold it. Do hold I it. Excuse me. No, you I'm know, Uncle Milty has a nicer tuchus no, than you. Hold it. <laughs> Uncle Milty, you have a nicer ass than my mother. <laughs> Do you know that? Did Listen, you hear what I said? I don't feel that you have the right to discuss my tuchus. No, <laughs> come on. This guy's an exercise video for old timers. Not old timers. All people, all people. No, no, senior citizens. Senior citizens. Senior no. citizens. Now, listen well, to me. I know your son very well. Right. And when you say he never talks that way at home, I can believe that. <laughs> because You'll have to take this, I have analyzed Howard for, for all these years. Yes. He is actually... Not the Howard Stern that is being broadcast. That's and right. People don't say that's <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a green. Let me explain what all I right, mean. All right, mother, because I respect your talk mother even more than you. Talk about no, the tuchus. Talk about the tuchus. I will not talk about that. My her. father is not attractive. Listen, Howard. When's the last time Howard, you had sex with Dad? Tell Uncle Milty. When's the last time you had sex with Dad? Oh, shut up. Tell the truth. That's right. When that's is the right. last time you had sex? Your father tells you to shut up and sit down. He'll see you naked. He'll pass out. You got to get the ass in shape. Uncle Milty, tell her. Come on. He would it. never have the nerve to say this to me. I've said it to you in private. No, let me just... Go uh, ahead, Uncle Milty. Let me talk about your son. Yes. If you'll shut up a minute. Please. Oh, I would like to see. Everything is an act with him. I know. This is all a disguise, the way he's talking to you on the phone <laughs> for the entertainment of the viewers and the listeners. Right. He's playing a character. Exactly. And the character that he's... Of course, I know Howard, and I know the way he is personally, and he's a very personal guy. Thank you. And he would never speak. Mm -hmm. I know that. In this particular venue, uh, to you at home this way. That's right. Now, and if I, I spoke to my to mother, if I spoke to my mother Sandra that way at home, oh, boy. she would have wrapped me. Oh, that's it. Hey, Ma, good news. I see a bulge in Uncle Milty's pants. Oh. I think he likes you. I, uh, if you saw Uncle Milty naked, you'd pass out. This guy's had every beautiful woman in the world. I'm telling you. You could do chin-ups with Uncle Milty. Shut up. <laughs> right? He's so Ray, proud of that. Ray. Yeah, he loves it. He no, loves I it. don't You love do it. love it. Tell the truth. No, I like your mother. My I mother. I have a lot of respect for her. My mother could use a little work on her backside. Tell her to buy the tape, please. What 
is this? My the discussion. Let's discuss ask Dad. your backside. Look, I got a gorgeous backside. Your I at least work on. It. I run. I do. Well, dinner. You're a complete ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, Ray. That's right, Uncle Milty. Ray. Yes. Let Dad. me just say this. I'm glad to speak to you, and I wish you a very happy New Year. Thank you and very much. Health. For uh, years to come. Yeah. Go work on your ass. With with Uncle Milty's new <laughs> low-impact height. Behave hike. yourself. Ah, uh, come on, Ma. You know it. My mother complains to me all the time. She goes, I don't know why. I, I, mean, I, I never ass. say that. I say because you don't move your body around. Uncle Milty moves himself around every I day. I know what I do. I know I what you do. Know I know you don't move yourself around. You told me I you don't. I move myself around plenty. Oh, boy. Now, I'm going to move myself over to your house tonight no. and discuss this with no. you. No, move yourself <laughs> over to Dad in the bedroom. And satisfy him Your with a nice shapely ass. Very satisfied. Un- oh, no, he's not. My yes. father has not had sex in oh, so long. <laughs> he Uncle doesn't Milty. know. Little, don't listen to Don't listen to him. All right, Ma, go buy Uncle Milty's tape. Thank you. I love you, Ray. All right, I love you, too. Take and, care and your health. don't listen to a word he said. Take care of your health. You hear what Uncle Milty said? Oh, I want I you do. around. I love I you. Do. I love you. I love that voice of yours ringing in my head. <laughs> and I'll be watching for you on uh, TV. That uh, That's exciting. I love that show. The Nanny is my mother's the, favorite show. I really? love yeah. to watch Oh, by the that. way. She's Ray. almost senile. Ray. Yes. yes. We feed a dog food in the old age home. I'm just kidding. Just because you have the microphone. I'm going to put you in the best old age home money can buy. You don't have to show off for anybody. Uncle Milty, I don't show off. How do you know she's not going to have to put you somewhere? No, my mother. You better be careful. I got a nice old age home picked out for her. She ain't moving into my house. <laughs> you think I'm going to sit and take care of her, Uncle Melty? You're yes, crazy. you should. Oh, come on. Did you, what did you do with your mother? You threw her right in the home, didn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do that, she will. Uh, loved his mother. He loved his mother. Yeah. Well, yeah. anyway. Well, you know what? Everybody should love their mother. You know why my mother loves the nanny? Because her voice is as annoying as the nanny. <laughs> the nanny. <laughs> It's true. You hear that voice? And it's not annoying, the nanny's voice. Not if you get used to it. Right. It's a comedy voice. That is a comedy right. voice. That's I, right. I love Ray, that Ray, just show. don't listen to him. Just take care of him because he needs help. Oh, all right. I know. Thank I, you, Ma. I Thank you. I straighten him out all, all right. the time. <laughs> all right, Mommy. Goodbye. All right. All right. I love you so much. I love you all. Uh, you're fantastic. Bye-bye. Thank bye-bye. you so much. I love her. I love my mother. I do. Oh, she I do. do. Oh, you wouldn't be putting her on that way. Why do you think I'm worried about her ass? I am going to get a couple of copies. There's a couple of people that need this tape. Who? Milton Burroughs. I'm not going to name mention names, <laughs> but look at Jackie Martling's pregnant belly. You know, it's not just for old people. Milton Burroughs low impact high comedy workout tape. As a matter of fact, it's very funny. There's a picture that I'm going to hold up to the camera of Uncle Milty in his exercise outfit. Take a look at this. Oh. Here, is that terrific? That's what I wanted to say. You wouldn't let me say it. I- included in this tape. Uh, inserted in this tape. I do come out as as in drag. Oh, thank a God. Of times. Yes. You look Once good. You look good, Jane. <laughs> Jane Fonda. Jones is Jane Fonda, and the other is Richard Simmons. You look a little like both of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, in in the in the in the workout tape, I do. Yes. And it's all for shtick and for right. comedy. No, you're great. That's the the difference of the title of low uh, low impact high comedy. You look like Uncle Mildred in this. <laughs> See that? You know, could be. Uncle Milty, thank you for blessing my hey. show with your appearance. You are more important than the Pope. You are the Pope of comedy. That I'm not so Pope sure. Pope looks in terrible shape, doesn't he? Somebody needs to slip this tape to the Pope. I'm going to get a copy. I'm having an audience with the Pope after this show. I am going to slip him a copy of your you tape. you have the w- one person in your audience. Right. That's right. And I want to thank Uncle Milty, the great Uncle Milty, for coming by with his new tape. And don't forget to go see him November 15th through the 18th at the Riverside Casino in Laughlin, Nevada. The great All right. Milton Burl. Thank you very much. Thank you, Uncle Milty. God bless you. And God bless uh, you. Ray, take care of yourself. And ladies and gentlemen here in the studio, God bless you. All right. Thank you. We'll be back. Uh, cameraman, too. We'll be right back. We'll be back after this. You're listening, You're listening to the Howard Stern Show. 98.5.